Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ which is pretty interesting. Question is who has the maximum acidity in the highlighted CH bond? What do I mean? You can see one CH bond here, another is here, another is here. You have to say who has the maximum acidity. Four options are provided and one of them is the right answer. I request you student please pause the video try by yourself and whatever answer you get please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation don't hesitate whether your answer will be right or wrong because student self-evaluation is essential for improvement and that's why you should try so I believe you have tried by yourself so it's my turn to give you the right answer so student in this case I will follow a little different pathway first I shall give you the answer who is maximum acidic so answer is this option C is maximum acidic and how it is prove approved because the pKa values of these similar CH bonds. So if you look at this structure A has pKa 33, this B has pKa 18.5 and C has pKa 11. By the way there is a huge surprise that sir all are sp3 CH all are attached to these three phenyl rings but in this case the structure A has pKa 33 and this structure C has 11 almost one third why this unique what makes this unique acidity of this molecule we will learn in details but student actually pKa value one thing you should remember always pKa value indicates the strength of an acid less the low lesser pKa stronger acid so please remember this low the more lesser the pKa value more stronger the acid so based on this logic I can say the structure C is the strongest acid now so whenever we say acidity of a compound we need to see the conjugate base for example this is the acid HA its conjugate base is A minus because it releases one proton and produce this A minus. So this is the conjugate base or CB. So remember student, whenever you are asked about the acidity comparison, just instantly go to the conjugate base comparison. Because remember here along with every molecule there is an H plus. Okay, every molecule there is a H plus attached. After H plus release, it produces this conjugate base. Now, we need to think about the stability of the conjugate base. Actually, if the conjugate base is more stable, the compound will ionize or release proton more easily. That is the thing. Now, if you look at this molecule student, just look at. So, there is a CH, there is a CH. One option, you can say that sir, this has a CH this has a CH2. Third thing, this has a CH, this has a CH. So, I can say that it is difficult for these three phenyl rings to remain planar at a particular time because if they remain in planar orientation, then there will be a significant amount of repulsion possible. So, that's why whatever I am talking that these negative charge could be delocalized in this way, it can open up. So, it doesn't happen that much efficiently. That's why this triphenyl methyl this triphenyl methyl carbon ion is not that much stable compared to compared to the structure B. Here you can see the two phenyl ring here are in a same plane because of these bond formation. There is a rigid structure and there is one phenyl left. So and another thing, not only this, these distance also increases agree so this distance increases so consequently you may expect the lesser repulsion because of this planarity but the maximum acidity is observed in this molecule so in this case because this three phenyl ring phenyl ring one two and three are in the same plane okay and it is actually a rigid structure because this CC bonds. So these negative charge which is actually a benzylic carbon ion 
which is actually resonance stabilized by delocalization and that delocalization is maximum in this structure and we know more delocalization means more stabilization and more stabilization means stronger acidity so that's why you can see that this compound displays maximum acidic character or option c is the right answer now so in this case what is the right answer right answer is obviously c is the option c now if this question appear in your exam less than 30 seconds how can you come to the right answer so you should know about that these repulsion repulsive interaction first of all and second thing rigid structure and in this option c the rigidity is maximum because these mm, three phenyls are connected together by cc bonds so if you know this you can answer actually this student this question doesn't have that much trick student and in this case the carbon ion is more delocalized more degenerate more stabilized now in conclusion what you have learned today the ch bonds are weakly acidic although it could be this acidity could be increased by introduction of electron withdrawing group as much as possible for example triphyletic acid this ch bond in this acid can act as super acid it's a surprising property but it happens i've already made a dedicated lecture please visit for better understanding so name is triphyletic acid now next point is stabilization of the conjugate base is essential and it results the superior acidity means more the conjugate base is stabilized more is the acidity and in case of super acid means this triphyletic acid the conjugate base is extremely stabilized because of resonance so that's why it behaves as a super acid now the next point is carbon ions are electron rich species and benzylic carbon ions are resonance stabilized that's why it's stable because the negative charge is dispersed or delocalized over this phenyl ring. Now the last point is two phenyl group attached together may encounter repulsion between these two orthohydrogens which may be responsible for their out of planarity. It means actually which is responsible for their out of planarity arrangement and if they are out of planar they can't participate in resonance because the p orbital which carrying the negative charge i mean benzylic position cannot form cannot delocalize if it is not in a same plane arrangement so this is the end of this question i thanks everyone for watching if you really consider or enjoy the content of my channel please help this channel to grow and if possible please visit my two other channels so this is the end of this question thanks again see you